what's up guys? Ancient here, bringing you another episode of Call of Cthulhu. And we once again delve ever deeper into the whaling station, searching for Sarah Hawkins after whatever madness this tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Has enveloped her. Ooh. So we're gonna be using a battering ram technique, huh? I guess we'll need chains. Locked. Hmm. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. Indeed, I could. Perfect. I'm hearing people singing. That's not horrifying at all. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Hmm. What is, what is Detective Historian? Piece together Margaret Wickwood's memoirs. Okay. What the... Looks like a page from a log from 1847. Friday the 4th, June 1847. 53 north, 53 west. We are starving. The fish seem to have deserted these waters. If I don't quickly find an answer to this crisis, Fitzroy could well set off a mutiny. Each day, more and more men believe in his tales of a miraculous catch. Merciful God, help me. Wednesday, 9th, June, 1847. 57 north, 51 west. We sighted an enormous whale further to the south, the biggest we've ever seen. Fitzroy keeps telling the men that it is the miraculous catch he promised them. We will catch it and bring it back home to feed our families. Okay. Nothing in that drawer. Uh. Oh, hey. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. He was? 33 North, 53 West. The what, Wednesday, 23rd, June, 1847. The morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. What? This thing is not a whale. It's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. It's pra it practically gutted our ship with its tentacles. Or with these tentacles. I don't know how my harpoon finally pierced the skull of this monster. The crew is in a story state, in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but some will not recover. So yeah, somebody is singing. I'm not that that's just not that's not just in my head then. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. A knife, huh? Mentions the Leviathan, how it drove the sailors mad. 
Friday, 27th, June, 1847. 37 North, 63 West. The whole crew has descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmarish city, and of a sleeping god. Madness! I locked myself in my cabin. I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. Doesn't work. So I see. Doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, all right. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Uh, what? I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Yeah! Battering ram! What? The beast in the cave? Oh, yay. Well, this is an interesting place. What is this? There's a symbol. What is that thing? What is that thing? What the hell is happening? No. That voice. You're the Leviathan. That's the Leviathan? Interesting. Do I not have a choice? Sarah? Did he- Did he vomit on me? The fuck happened? Hello, customer service. Hello. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. What? Who's there? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith. Leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments, one is always alone. You can't escape it forever, it will always find its way. Damn it! Hi there, you freak. Sailors were going insane. Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship and probably killed the captain. Thursday, 25th, June, 1847. 35 North, 59 West. Fitzroy encouraged the men all day. They are in shock and can't overcome their trauma. They say they can hear the screams of their comrades turn... What? I said screams, Siri! I didn't say... I didn't say, hey, Siri. I said screams. What? No! Fucking... They say they can hear the screams of their comrades turned mad. 
Some of them hurt themselves in a desperate attempt to stop the visions that haunted them. Others chose to embrace them! Fitzroy is one of the latter. He named the beast Leviathan because he believes in his biblical nature. I told them to get rid of it because before it's too late. That This thing is not the work of God. Belonging to the captain of the Scylla. Monday, 24th, 1847. May, 1847. 42 north, 70 west. We have sailed from the island of Darkwater towards the north. Sailors say that these waters are haunted. I don't believe in these tales. It's not a good time for us. My men haven't seen the slightest trace of a whale for quite a while. If this season doesn't improve, they will no longer wish to serve on the Scylla. Sunday, 30th, May, 1847. 47 north, 55 west. We are not the only hunters here. While we were looking for a prey, we found dead whales, a dozen of them, drifting, their entrails exposed. They had been shred, as if they had been attacked by a huge predator. It's very strange. Perhaps it is a sign from God. Perhaps it is this good catch that we have long hoped for. We must find it, whatever the risk. Belonging to the captain of the Scylla, the pages I found seem to be the missing ones. Exceeding of the Madness Stone. Beliefs and other superstitions have, sometime contribu have sometimes contributed to the development of medicine. Several centuries ago, it was thought that a patient with a mental disorder had a stone of madness in his skull. A trepanation of the skull and excision were thus performed. Sometimes the patient survived, sometimes he was cured. Today, the vocabulary has changed, but the methods a little less. Yeah, 100%. Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. A forgotten photograph in the offices of the whaling station. Only a handful of the Scylla crew is present. Captain Fitzroy and Dr. Fuller are included. It is dated 1847. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else. So this is the Leviathan, huh? Um, hmm. Okay, well, this is intriguing. <laughs> 